Okay, I mostly just wanted to talk about the um, soft-sided Apache campers, specifically the ones from 1967 to 1969. Um, there's really not a lot out there for them. Um, I'm going to not be talking about any of the tent campers, so like the Eagles, Ravens, any of those. I don't know anything about those, um, and this is not anything about the solid state ones either. Um, when you think of an Apache, you're probably going to be thinking of the solid state Apache camper with the ABS sides. Um, you know, th they look like this. These campers, I I'm not talking about these. They started making these in 1970. It was kind of a weird hybrid, and they made them up to the 1980s. These guys are not what I'm going to be talking about. The ones I'm talking about are ones that look like this. They all have got the solid aluminum body with a plywood floor. They have a bed on each end and they've got an aluminum top. Um, they started making this style of camper in 1967. The ones that I've seen, usually the 67 ones, they're either this light blue or it's almost like a whitish cream color. It it's kind of weird. You, I've seen several different colors, so I can't really say for sure what they are. Um, if you go to this website, popupcamperhistory.com, you actually can find brochures for each year. And it gives you like a brief his, a history of the camper company. And this is the man who owned it and basically invented the your Apache pop-up camper, Mr. Vesely. But if we go to, this is the 1967 brochure, um, you know, you can see they've got a mesa here on the front cover. And if we look at it, you can see it's this weird lightish brown color. But then I've also seen some that look white. Um, you can tell also that this is a, a, um, a, sev a 67 um, because of the back. See how narrow, this is an ABS panel right here. It's very narrow looking. And all of these campers are virtually the same. The only thing that changes is the color, this back panel. And also, you can also see some differences in where they place, like, the, the openings for the water. Um, so, in 67, they sold Ramadas and Mesas. Uh, Mesa is the small version. The Ramada is larger. Um, so if I go back to, like, I know I can, let's see, let's find the 69 brochure. This is my camper. I, I own a 1969 Mesa, and this right here is a Mesa. Um, and you can actually see the difference between the size of them. Let's see, which page is it on? Page three. Like, see, this is a Ramada right here. This is a Ramada. And the one on the front is a Mesa. You can see this one's kind of short. See, this one is very short. This is a Mesa. This is much shorter. And this is Ramada. You can see how the difference, how that's short, that's much longer. The Ramadas are long, are larger, so you have more space. They also came with an electrical system. I'm going to tell you right now, if you've got a Mesa, you aren't going to have electricity. Um, they don't have any kind of plug-in or anything. All they've got is a sad little water system. Um... The Mesas, they come in three. I, I'm not as sure about the Ramadas, but the Mesas, they come with in three, uh, you might call them trim levels. There was a Mesa 1, a Mesa 2, and a Mesa 3. I own a Mesa 3. The Mesa 3 was like the fancy smancy version. Um, so in my, my camper, you know, it came with like, this right here is at the front of the camper. This is the door that's on the passenger side. It came with a ice box. This is not a fridge. It's an ice box. And this little cabinet thing. If the, the Mesa 1s and 2s don't have this. Um, 
they have a bed on each end, and they have this dinette. This dinette will turn into another bed. So, you know, let's see. So, you know, Mesa 1 is your base level model. You know, it's got this screen door. Um, you know, it's got these double beds on each end. And, you know, you've got a, a, a table. The Mesa 2 is the one that gives you the dinette. I don't believe the Mesa 1 has a dinette. I could be wrong on that. But in the Mesa 2, the dinette converts into a double bed. And also, you're going to have that in the Mesa 3. The Mesa 3, of course, comes with an icebox and that cabinet. The cabinet I was talking about, it is in right here. And that's the one you could see on page 5 here and all this groovy 70s stuff. This is your cabinet right here. And, of course, this is your dinette, and this is your dinette converted down into a bed. Now, all of the um, 70s, I mean the 69 Mesas, they all came in this lovely saddle brown color. Um, you can see, let's see, it's this one. This is a 69. You can see right here, this is act this right here, if you're looking at these, you can tell this is not a Mesa 3. A Mesa 3 is going to have, this is the water port for the, the water tank in the rear of the camper. The Mesa 3 will have a city water inlet right up here, right next to this little vent. So if you're looking at this and you're like, oh man, I don't want no stupid Mesa 1 or Mesa 2, I want the fancy one. You're going to look for a little, another little port right here. Um, I've seen three different colors of canvas on these. Um, this is the green one. It's like a weird light green color. Um, there's also this weird brown color. I've seen these, and then I've also seen, this is the gray. So you can also get gray. So there's three different colors. This right here is a 1968. You can see it's got this, that same thinner, uh, back plastic over the back of the camper. It's also green. It's this dark green. In 68, they came in a dark green. They had a very, that same narrow back like the 67s did. And they also had both water ports are located up here at the front. But you can see they've still got that same exact body shell and top as they have for the, you know, it, here it is on the 69. They've got the same body sh shell. Uh, you know, this one, same way. All of these, they reuse this body shell over and over and over. Over and over and over. Um, so, you know, right here, this is a 68. You can see it here. See how both of the water ports are here on the front, and it's also this green color? This is a 68. If you're going to look at a, uh, you know, here's a 60, here's that back end I was talking about that's narrow. If you're going to look at, see how it's much larger on the 69s? All the 69s, this is a much larger piece than on your 67s or 68s. Now, you may not be able to go off color alone. A lot of times people repaint these because, I'm sorry, this color is ugly. This color is ugly. <laughs> most people don't like these colors. And most of the time when you get one of these, sometimes when you get one of these little guys, they're going to be repainted. So, you know, I would not just go off color alone. But you can look at the water ports, and you can also, if it still has, sometimes they're missing this piece right here. This is ABS plastic. It tends to just break apart in the sun from the UV damage. Sometimes they come off, or people take them off and throw them away. So you may not be able to go off this. Um, you know, but if you have a front end that looks like this right here, it's likely a 68. If it doesn't have this, it's probably a 69. I very, very rarely see 67s pop up for sale. If I see any of these little canvas trailers pop up for sale, it's usually a 68 or it's usually a 69. Um, if you want to look at these brochures, um, you can go to this popupcamperhistory.com. And he has all of them. And he has even the advertisements. Like you can look over here. I could look for 1969. 
and we've got a better camp and better camping, you know, here they are advertising a Mesa 3. You know, if you wait till March to buy a pair of Apache, you'll miss the boat. You know, you could get a free boat for a hundred dollar value with your, you know, sporty yak, with your, you know, Apache camper purchase. You know, or I could go to 1967. You know, we've got multiple ones here. You know, here we've got this is a 67. You can see it's the same body, same everything. It's just as a different color. It's this weird greenish blue. Um, I think depending on the light, it can also look almost white, but, you know, see, it's the same camper, you know, and then down here, of course, he has the brochures, uh, you know, we've got a 68 as well, you know, here you can see this awesome green color in the background, you know, here's your, this is, this, this right here is a Ramada, that's much larger, you can tell, um, you know, you see here, you know, see, this is a Ramada, see how large it is. Uh, let's see, page four. You know, this is a Mesa. You see it's pretty short. You know, and it, it'll, it'll go through all of the Mesa features. You know, these campers really didn't change a lot for these three years. All of them use the same lift system. Everything on these guys is the same. Um, so... They do have a water tank. This one actually still has its original water tank. Mine was missing, but you can see here, see, this is a 68. You can see the two inlets right up here. This is the front of the camper. The two inlets are right here. This is part of the dinette. On my camper, this would have been in the back corner. Um, it was in the back corner, and mine was long gone because my camper... It, you could tell it had leaked at one point in time. Um, oops. You know, this is my camper. right here and you know when I got it it was not in very good you know it's in mostly good shape um if you're looking to buy one of these your biggest expense is going to be the canvas the canvas on most of these is trash um because a lot of times people will get these they'll put them up leave them for years, the canvas just, you know, a lot of them might have the original canvas, people don't take care of it, um, and mine's, mine was literally starting to rot and come apart, so I bought a new one. This will be your biggest expense, this will determine whether or not, you know, how much money are you willing to put into this, because right now my canvas exceeds the value of my camper. I paid $500 for this camper, you know, the canvas cost me $1,300. Um, if you're going to be looking um, at buying one of these um, cam campers, um, you know, see, mine's a Mesa 3. You can see right here this little goofy um, icebox and cabinet thing. You know, and then back here, the water tank would have been back here on the back. Um, anyway, you know, say I want to buy one of these. Say I'm going to go out and I want to buy a 1969 Apache Mesa. I'm on Facebook Marketplace and I see, you know, one of these campers for sale. You know, I, I'm going to go out and I want to look at this, you know, maybe maybe I want to look at this camper right here. I, you know, or, you know, I want to look at, you know, maybe I want to buy this one right here. I don't know, you know. What do you want, what do you want to look for when, when, when you're looking to buy one of these guys? Okay, 
I'm going to look at this camper. You know, first thing you're going to want to look at is, does the darn thing go up and down? Um, you know, the lift systems on this, for these three years, they're pretty good. Uh, you know, they have very few issues compared to the later solid state ones. Um, I will be honest, my preference is for these right here. I, I, I'm not a fan of the solid state ones. I cannot tell you how many people I have seen in the Facebook group, the Apache Preservation Society Facebook group. They get this camper and... You know, you get one, it doesn't go up or down, they spend hundreds of dollars in parts, they spend hundreds of hours tearing the stupid thing apart, fixing everything, putting it back together, trying to get it to go up, and it either doesn't work, or it breaks, or... And it's just, it's heartbreaking to see it, because you know how much work goes into doing that. And, and these guys, they're not as finicky as those. You know, yeah, they're canvas, but they're not as finicky. Also, you don't have to do ABS plastic repair, which is, is always fun. Um, but, you know, if I was going to go look at this camper, one of the biggest things I'd look for is, you know, these campers have three places where there's wood. It's going to be the bed ends right here and the floor. Can it be replaced? Oh, heck yeah. But do you really want to take that on? Is you need... You, Ask yourself, do you want to take all of the cabinets, the dinette, and everything out of it so you can replace the floor? And when you look on the floor, don't just, you know, get in the camper, kind of, you know, look, feel around with your feet, see if there are any soft spots. Make sure you look in the di under the dinette seats. Look under the cabinets. Don't just do it on the main floor because you want to make sure, you know, that there's nothing there. And then don't just do that. Get under it. Get under it and look underneath. Make sure. Look at the wood from underneath and, and look at it and really look at it. Make sure it's not rotting. Make sure it doesn't have anything weird going on under there. You know, you're going to want to look at the hitch. I had to replace this trailer jack because mine was horrible. You know, are the tires decent? You know, the tires on these guys, they're a little bit of a weird size. So, you know, you can buy them, but, you know, you have to be, you know, look at that. You know, mine, one of these little goofy legs for the bed, one of mine is missing. It's missing the leg from here all the way up to here. You know, canvas. Canvas is going to be, like I said before, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Canvas is your biggest expense. You will spend a fortune on canvas if it has not been replaced. You will have to buy one. And... It's a lot of money for what the, these little campers are. And also, be aware, if you're buying this pop-up camper because, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, like, redo it and post it on, you know, on social media after I paint it up all cute inside. If that is what you want to do, buy a 90s Starcraft or something. Don't buy one of these. Just save yourself the pain and the irritation. Um, you know, some, buy something from the 90s or newer. You know, you can pick those up for a couple hundred dollars and they're just as good. You know, um, these, I, I don't know that these would be something, you know, these guys, they're 40 to 50 years old. Most of the time the canvas is rotten and there's a lot of stuff you got to figure out. If you are buying a Mesa and not a Ramada, they're not going to have electricity. So, you know, you're either going to have to run in cords yourself, or you're going to have to go in and build yourself an electrical system. Is that something you want to tackle? If you really want electricity? Um, you know, yeah, you could always run a 15-volt cord, but, you know, do, what, what if you want to put in a portable air conditioner? You know, um, you know, and if you're sitting here thinking, oh, you know, I'll just put a portable air conditioner on the roof. No. It's not going to work. This roof, this little lift system, barely is able to lift up this roof. If you put any weight up here, you will destroy it. So, you know, the only way to really put one is one of those rolling units with the hose. Um, you know, they're a portable. It's not the one that hangs in the window, but it's got a hose that goes up to the window. You can run the hose up and zip it into one of these windows right here. Um, you know... Uh, what else would I look at? 
Um, you know, look at the condition of the inside of the camper. A lot of these, you know, you can paint and fix anything, but it depends how much work do you want to do. You know, um, also if it, you know, so it's going to be dependent on what, what you're willing to do. And price point, most of the time I see these sell for around $500 to $1,000. If you're going into this expecting to, you know, dress it up and flip it and sell it, you're not going to get your money back. Um, this is not something you'll ever get your money back on. You know, these are not nearly as desirable as the solid state ones are. You are not ever going to get your money back from it. So just, just remember that if you buy one of these. You know, if you want a, something cheap to knock around in, to, you know, paint it up kind of cute and spruce it up and, you know, knock around with the kids and the family, they're fantastic. If you're handy and you want a nice little project, they're great. But, you know, if if you're going into this for them, you know, to resell it, it's not, you're not going to get your monies back out of it. Um, I've already sunk more into mine than I ever paid would, you know, I'll, I'll never get the money back that I've put into mine. But for me, it doesn't matter because I enjoy fixing it. I enjoy, you know, painting it, messing around with it, you know, doing certain things with it. Um, you know, 1970 is when they switched over. Um, if you are looking at these, this is a 1970s right here. And Oh, that's not a very good picture. I wish I could find a good one. And and what makes these... Like, here's another one right here. What makes these... These are one... If you're looking at them, I would not buy this. Um... And the only reason I say this about the 1970s Apache campers is these are, you can look at this, see this is a Ramada, and you can look at this and you can see they're still using the 67 through 69 Apache Ramada body, but they're starting to put the ABS panels on it. And this camper comes, you know, this camper has... This is when you first start to see the solid state. This is sort of the proto solid state camper. 71 is when they went to all ABS panels. But this right here is a Ramada. And you can see the top is the ABS pan has the ABS panels is made of ABS and you've got these ABS panels on the side like right here. Um but you have canvas bed ends. The reason I would stay away from these, especially if you are a first timer. The lift system on this is unique. The lift system on this is completely different from these guys, the 68 7s through 69s, and it's also completely different from the 71 onwards. The 70s are their own beast, and it is incredibly hard to get parts for them if you are missing or broken with anything for the lift system. Um, it's very hard to find anything about the lift system. Um, you can get the bed ends remade, you know, it's not an issue, but if you are just starting out with Apache campers, um, I might recommend you steer clear of this one, of these. And it's not because they're bad campers, it's just because this is like running the game on hard mode when you just started. You know, the, these take a lot more than most people um, might be willing to give. Um, so, you know, I would just keep that in mind if you're browsing for them. You know, these right here, they can usually be picked up pretty cheap, too, because nobody wants them. Because um, they are a bear to work on. Um, you know, these guys, you know, you can usually pick them up for $500 to $1,000. The ones with a better canvas um, and, and, and that are in really good shape, I've seen them sell for up to $1,500. But, you know, if you bought one with a ratted out canvas and, you know, was in crappy shape like the one I bought, 
I would only pay about 500 bucks for it. I wouldn't pay really much more than that. You know, people get these and they think they have an absolute treasure and they're really, they're just, they're just not worth a lot compared to, you know, the, the solid state ones may go for 2,500 and up, even kind of rat in a ratty shape. These guys aren't going to go for near as much. Um, you know, vintage pop-ups are absolutely fascinating. You know, this site alone, I mean, I've been on here, I didn't even know there were this many pop-up campers besides Apache. Um, so, you know, it's a fun website to check out. Um, you know, it's fun to go through the brochures. It's fun to look at the, you know, it's fun to look at the, the old ads for these. You know, like, you know, we look at 1970, you know, this is, of course, one of the ones I was talking about, where you, you can see they're reusing the old body, you know, but they're just slapping some new stuff on the top of it, you know, you know, well, you could buy a brand new camper for $1,400, you know, um, hopefully I'll have a video later where I'll go more into the lift system on these, um, on, um, on on the on the 68s or 67 through 69s because they've got this really unique lift system that's got these sprockets that send the bed out and then they've got it almost looks like it's a bike it looks like a bicycle chain that runs from the front to the back and synchronizes them and sends them out it's pretty neat but anyway if you watched your entire way through this entire rambling video i greatly appreciate it and i hope that i was able to help you with your own Apache camper. Darn, I wish I could bought a boat. I never got my boat when I bought my Apache camper.